Hi everyone, welcome to Cars House. Today we have for you another update on the Yolio R6 Aero Disc. This time um, we've got the bits on the bike that we saw in the last video. We've got the um, S-Works Venge stem with a cap. And we've also got the cable guides fitted on the Aerofly 2 handlebar. So I'm going to take you through what I did to uh, fit them in. Basically... Um, it came back from the shop um, with the old um, stem cap and a 10 mil spacer. Um, and what happened was, is this clips into the um, proper venge cap. It clips in and with the 10 mil spacer, I couldn't get it to clip. So what I had to do, um, I'll just show you, I'll whip off that... Uh, cap and I'll show you what I did. So what I did using this jig by Topeak, I'm not sponsored by Topeak, it's just one I bought ages ago to do this very job. Um, I didn't think I'd have to be doing it again but I did. Um, so basically you just put this over the steerer, tighten it up, not too tight so it starts to go out of shape but tight enough that it stays in the right place. Um, put your saw blade in this gap and uh, cut the steerer. Um, carbon saw blade. Um, I just use a really uh, high high tooth count blade, um, and then use some 400 wet and dry um, sandpaper to uh, get rid of the burrs and any rough edges on the steerer before I put the compression plug in. So it went to the shop with a five mil spacer here on the top and the old uh, Yolio top cap. Um, obviously I bought the correct top cap and the cover. So um, it went with a five mil, it come back with a 10 mil spacer. So what I did is I chopped off five mil um, of the steerer, put the compression plug back in, put the stem back on and the stem cap was wobbling um, it was hitting the uh, compression plug. So obviously I had to reduce it uh, in the height some more. So took everything off again, put the um, jig on and cut off another, I think it was four mil in the end, uh, just with um, having not much steerer to play with. I had to put it on upside down and it, and it, it kept wobbling. So I found a place where I could cut the least amount off, but that it was stable, and that was um, four mil, about four mil. So I ended up cutting nine mil off this. As you can see now, it sits slightly underneath the stem, but at least now I can get the top cap on and I can get the clip in. Probably took me 10 to 15 minutes to do that. Um, it wasn't difficult, it was quite straightforward. These on the other hand were very tricky um, and I'll come on to them now. I'll just stick this back on and then we'll move on to these. Right, so moving on to these cable guides. What I had to do here is I just move around the bike, took the front of the stem off so that the handlebars would come loose. And because the uh, handlebars are still attached by all the cables. Um, I bent the handlebars up, holding them in my hand. So imagine uh, the lever is facing the ceiling. So I had to turn them up. Then I had to screw them on. And I think the Allen key is a two mil. Um, it's quite tough to get in. You can't see at the moment. Um, I did actually make a video of me putting them on, but uh, I managed to delete it which wasn't very helpful. So I'm trying to explain the best I can. You uh, you kind of, the Allen key goes in from this angle um, underneath the shroud. Like you can't show you because all the cables are in the way. Um, that one we may be able to, I might turn the bike over so we can have a look. Um, but anyway, so I put them on and then I went to put back on the stem. And as you can see, it's wider at the front than it is there. So I went to put the handlebars on and I couldn't get them past the front of the stem. OK, 
because they now had these cable guides in the way. So I had to kind of come in at an angle, get that one there, and yeah, and then it went boom, and it slid on. So because they're only plastic, they give a little bit. They are hard plastic though, if I get my Allen key. Yeah, they're quite, oops, they're quite hard. Carbon, plastic, metal. Um, so yeah, they were a bit interesting to get on. And also, because I don't have enough, um, let's have a look at what angle I can do this at. Because I don't have enough cable play. They're not, they just come straight out. They're supposed to come and point right underneath this stem. And what I'll do is I'll turn the bike over and we'll have a look underneath. Here we are with the bike on its back. As you can see, uh, built into the stem, it comes with it. You saw in my video is a cable guide. And I think what's supposed to happen in the real vent is this cable comes in through the guide, comes to here and down the front of the, of the internal vent uh, system. But as you can see here, um, this cable has enough play. Whoops, out of camera. This cable has enough, it goes in there. But this one, they're not long enough, so they just come straight out. Um, as you can see, that is the end here of the cable guide. So they're supposed to come in here, along there, into the this block, and then out the back. Um, I'll try and get a better angle now for you. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but this, I'm pointing at the Allen key now. It's in there, so that's the angle you've got to come in. But you've got to get past this plastic bit here. And you've kind of got to wedge in your Allen key there. There's the tip of the Allen key bolt. Um, so yeah, there's not enough cable on this one to run it in through here. Um, which is a shame, but it's not too bad. This one, on the other hand, uh, comes straight over, which it's supposed to. These are hydraulic lines. Um, and this is the hydraulic and DI2 bound together with just some plastic wrap. Um, yeah, so that's what they look like underneath. I'll try and get a, a little overview there, just filming with my... That's what it looks like underneath. I actually think it, it improves the look. Why they don't come with the bars, I don't know. I had to buy them separately. Okay guys, thanks for watching uh, this update on the stem cover and the little uh, cable guides there. Like, subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for your comments. We'll see you soon on Kairos House. Take care, bye.